Hey, what's going on? This is Apple Fox channel here. And in this video, I want to show you how you can jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 in 2018. You may be like, why this version? And I'm going to explain it to you why. Because many devices like the iPhone 4S or the iPad mini first generation, just like this one, and I believe other iPads as well, are now stuck with iOS 9.3.5 and you simply don't get any software updates anymore and you want to get you want to experience some of the functionalities you get with the jailbreak. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can do that in 2018. So the first thing you're gonna do is to open up Safari and click the link that you can find in the description of this video down below. But the thing is that you mustn't click it in the YouTube app. You simply need to copy that and paste it into your Safari. And this is the page you're gonna get to. So you hit the download button and wait for it to give you the pop-up that will show you that you need to download it. And of course, come back to the home screen, wait for it until it downloads. This is the icon you're going to get. First of all, you're gonna get a pop-up that will tell you that you need to verify a profile. So if you go to the general section, and you can see this is the profile you're going to get. You need to have install that because either way it's not going to work. So make sure to install, as you can see it is verified. And now the app should be installed. This is the, this is the app I'm talking about. So you have to open it up and wait, of course, until it loads up properly. It may take a little bit of time because it's an old iPad. So there you go. And inside the app, you need to click on this middle button. Once you get there, you need to click on Cydia packages. Once you open this thing up, you're gonna scroll down until you see Phoenix. And this is the app that will make the iPad jailbroken, so you don't have to worry about anything else. Of course, this is a jailbreak that doesn't require a computer. As you can see at the bottom, you get the description. So it is semi untethered jailbreak for 9.3.5, all 32 bit devices support it. So this is exactly me, iPad mini first, 32 bit device, of course, running 9.3.5. And what does semi untethered mean? Well, if you have Tether jailbreak, that means that you have to plug your phone or the iPad to the computer and turn it on specifically in order for the CDI to work. If you got the untethered jailbreak, you don't have to worry about anything. And the semi-tether jailbreak means it is something in between. So if you if you happen to turn off this device and you want to turn it back on and run the CDI and the jailbreak properly, you need to process and get through the things once again, but it's not really a problem and for many people it is really convenient. So make sure to install the Phoenix app and once it is done, we're gonna continue. There you go, this is the Phoenix app and once you open it up, you're gonna get this message. It is untrusted enterprise developer. So you have to go to the settings once again and make sure that you verify this profile. So this is the thing, you can see Phoenix, but you have to trust the developer. So make sure to hit the trust button and now you can finally open up the app. So once again, open up the Phoenix app and you have to turn your iPad like this and now go through the steps. Sometimes you may get an ad which you simply need to turn off by clicking the skip button or whatever else. And now you simply click on prepare for jailbreak. So make sure to do that and you have to accept all of the terms and conditions. So you have to click accept. Now you get free mixtape available, just hit dismiss. It doesn't really matter. And at the bottom, you can see we get the proceed with the jailbreak. So make sure to do that. You can download the free mixtape if you want, but I'm gonna go and proceed with the jailbreak. And now you have to click begin installation. So just like that. And now device supported, offsets found for iPad 2.5, 9.3.5, use provided offsets. So just click on that and you don't have to worry about anything else. So preparing jailbreak, patching kernel, PMAP, and all of the things. Now you just simply need to wait until it will be finished. So you get the storage almost full message and now your iPad should get rebooted. So you don't have to worry about anything else. And now you just need to wait until the iPad get totally and completely jailbroken. Now once you open up the iPad, you're gonna notice that we have a Cydia running here, which is totally awesome. And now you're gonna notice after it loads up, of course, that it is a completely and normally working Cydia which you can, of course, get the repos and all of that. If you know how jailbreak works, then you're gonna be familiar with this already. One thing you should also know that warranty and CDI jailbreaking don't really go well together. 
to jailbreak your device, you will probably lose a warranty. And that means that you shouldn't really do that in case your iPad is under warranty. Of course, this one, since it is from 2012, obviously it is not under a warranty, so I don't have to worry about that and I can use the jailbreak. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then just hit that subscribe button. Maybe I will show you some other important things. Maybe I will show you some cool tweaks that you can get. But this is not mainly a jailbreak channel, so make sure to hit that subscribe button for the iOS 12 reviews and all of the iPhone, iPad and Apple Watch tips and tricks. See you in the next video. Peace out, guys.